Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode five of uh, my season seven of Alpha 17 experiments. Let's play. <laughs> and I've been working so hard. I'm excited to get going. Um, and I managed to level up during the night, uh, building up harvesting i did a lot of stuff and what is this oh the airdrops and the vending machines okay but we do have our point to spend to get the forge oh yes and um i also made sure that i had everything we needed to get our forge going so that when we did get it we could just make it straight away so let's make the bellows, craft that guy, and that'll take a little bit, and then we should have everything else we need for, oh, I meant to hit there, for our forge. We just got to wait for our bellows to get done, and we have everything else. Uh, so I harvested so much wood. Look, you can't tell because I've been using it all. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I got many, many things accomplished. It doesn't really look like much. I got the rest of the tree farm filled out. Uh, it's not, um, I'm going to have to fill all that in and I would like to get the surface of it solidified, but that's going to take a lot and lot of wood. And you can see like all the little trail of saplings I have out there. Uh, I went over, I guess it was either towards here or toward, I think it was over there. Yeah, you can see a couple of the saplings over there. So I wound up just slowly chopping down trees as I went away because the, the close ones are all babies right now. The ones that I already harvested and replanted and let's see is our four or okay our bellows is done now we can start the forge oh this is gonna be awesome um i also i i dug down and started a little room down here it's a, it's a very small but i got enough dirt to where i could um make 12 uh, dirt patches to put under those saplings so those will all grow to complete maturity which is good because we could sure use that wood and not having to go miles away to get it would be very beneficial this <laughs> it may seem like wasted effort but I think it's definitely worth it in the long run to have an established tree farm close by and I'm pretty much going to duplicate this on all the sides that way if zombies come through and tear down a tree demolish part of it it's okay because we've got tons of them <laughs> so we're gonna you know and I thought about it as well because when we get that filled out, we're going to have these huge open areas in the corners. And I think those will be good areas to make farms. Maybe we'll put uh, some walls around it um, so that the zombies can't walk over it. But I don't know. It kind of... We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We're not there yet. But, yeah, it took a lot of wood to get that going. Um, I'm going to try to prioritize for the base as much as possible. I did get a little bit of work done. Let's go down and check out that real quick. Um, I got the wooden bars in the middle, so this area is secure. <laughs> the wooden bars aren't all that but my next um pro my next phase for this is going to be to uh, build up these areas 
to sort of force them to come through uh, these sections here, like so. So they'll be forced to come in through here to get to this inner cage because they want inside because I'm going to be standing up like right here. So this is going to be the next step. What I'll do over the night is to fill in these hallways, create these hallways and replace all of these wooden frames with the wooden bars because I really like um, that I can't pick them up and that I can see and shoot through them. So that that is awesome. And we'll eventually upgrade them. Like uh, I would especially would like to get this middle row upgraded to iron bars, but we're probably not going to be able to do that on this horde. But that's going to be one of the priorities is so that they'll have to at least break that and then get through one of these two to get inside. So yeah, enough about that. Oh, come on, let me up. Let me, let me, there you go. Also, I need to get, I need to get, um, at least one, uh, one layer of wood frames all the way around. That's probably not going to stay either because I'd really like to keep it, um, the wooden bars so that I can see and shoot through it without worrying about uh, picking it up on accident. So we got our board. Oh yes. Okay. So what we, what are we going to do? Um, let's put it right here on the sky. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, and we got that anvil. Oh, that saves us so much metal. It's awesome. I love it. Okay, <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to make some more wooden frames real quick. It's because it's a really, really low and I don't like that. Um, I did have to kill some rocks to because there were some in the way of the tree farm. So I had to kill a little bit. I only, I only did the rocks if I absolutely had to. I was mainly concerned with getting the, getting that wood because the, we're going to just use a stupid amount of wood, <laughs> stupid amount. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that should be enough. Let's throw some stuff in here so that while we're, uh, out and about, Um, I think that should be enough. Yeah, we'll get that, we'll get that stuff going. Um, we definitely need to get uh, some food and drink before we run off. And let's cook this one. I know that's not that much. Let's try to get this murky water cooked up so we're not wasting. There. Yeah, that's get, not going to be quite enough to get all of those done, but it's going to be close enough. So, what are we going to do today? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Anyway, last episode we went for that airdrop and we found some pretty nice things. I don't think I'm going to go for these buried supplies. I think actually what we should do, that was the totally wrong button, is go, what is this? Oh, forges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go back to our trader, go to the quest. Uh, get rid of this, remove it, remove quest, get rid of it and go check out the ones that he has left. See if there's anything good. 
um, <laughs> something that's not a buried quest. I, I don't want to do the buried treasure. If it's in the snow biome, it's not so bad. Because it's just going and digging, which isn't a big thing. Oh. But um, I don't know. I would like to, you know, make it worth my time to go a kilometer and a half away. Uh, you know, where there's going to be more loot, <laughs> more looting involved. Because more than likely, if we get the buried treasure, it's just going to have some food in it uh, and the supplies that he wants us to get. We have great prices. And I would like to loot. I like looting. Okay. Oh, oh we got a fetch. 600. Yes. That is awesome. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take these other fetches that are really close or really far away and just get rid of those. Do you think you can help? God bless you and good uh, luck. What is, I think it's J? No. I don't know the shortcut key for it. I'm sorry. So we're going to get rid of this one. Remove quest. And where's the other one? This one we also great. want to get rid of. I look forward to seeing you again. Boom. All right, now we can get the one we want. The close one. Yeah. I have a well, we'll go, you we'll go do man. that. How about that, Bob? We're going to do this for you. <laughs> and it's going to be awesome, right, Bob? Right? Okay, so... Another thing I want to do before I take off is I want to have a plan and see uh, what we need to get the workbench. And I believe that's under advanced engineering. Here's the workbench. Craft a workbench. And we'll get a table saw too so we won't have to go to the lumberjack house. As long as and as well, not as long as, as well, we'll be able to make our own compound bows, which will be awesome because by the time we get int five, we'll be able to, what is it, um, do a tier, oh, actually we can already do it, but with our glasses on, it'll be a tier four. So basically having the better level tools doesn't really do anything at all to the base damage of the item what it does is it gives you a mod slot and that mod slot makes it better so it'll give each mod you have in there upgrades the damage a little bit so each one is an upgrade it's upgrading it it's making it better so we definitely want to upgrade those tools um, so we need int 5 and level 25 to get the workbench. Now we're only 10, so we'll also be getting the iron tools. So you need int 5 and level 20 for that as well. That's going to be huge. And leather armor. Awesome. So we want int 5. Uh, so we're definitely going, and that's going to cost two points. So our next two levels, we're just going to go ahead and put int five in there. Bam, and it'll be done. <laughs> we won't have to worry about it. And then once we get 20, we can get the hammer and forge. And then 25, we'll get the workbench and the table saw and the awesome compound bow. As well as a mining helmet. Although I don't, um, the mining helmet isn't... I don't know. It isn't as good as it used to be. So let's go. Let's go to the rally point. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I did use the iron. One of the iron we bought to repair this big old hammer because it was getting really low. All the smashing of zombies we've been doing and the smashing of doors. We just. Uh, it was really low, so I went ahead and repaired it. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm still up at arms about the hammer. 
I really enjoy it. I think it's fun, but not inside where they're going to be so much closer. You may may not have time to take a step back and let your energy uh, come back so that you can, you know, take a big swing because it, oh man, it does. It takes takes like 50 endurance to right click that puppy uh, but pretty much a, a normal zombie is gone I would prefer hey where's this I would prefer to go in and just pop them in the head with my bow but uh, you know if we're out and about and we got like a horde smashing them in the face with the hammer is fine <laughs> I'm so happy we got a rally point that is close. I love doing the quest. Uh, I think they might need to limit, you know, I guess early on, put like as part of the difficulty is its closeness. Um, <laughs> like distance traveled is, um, you know, a little, making it more difficult to get to it because traveling, oh, oh boy, oh boy, uh, yeah, we're gonna try and take this guy out, oh, it's like bug, it's like they, they stop seeing you, Woo! <laughs> you little, Bad dog. <laughs> bad, bad dog. See what you did? You made me wake the whole neighborhood up. What? For that, you're gonna be puppy chow. My chow. How come I only got 21 meat from that? That was a big old wolf. I should have gotten way more. You ate some of him, didn't you? <laughs> oh, that's just... Watching them go flying is just amazing. And I tell you what, something I really, really, really just, really seriously, I need this skill. I was looking at it and it looks freaking amazing. <laughs> Let's look at, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's under strength, the skull crusher. Did you look at some of these on the, I need tier three because I need to make their heads explode. Come on. I mean, that's that's going to be uh, just awesome to see their heads explode. Boom! I mean, it's awesome seeing them fly across the freaking world when I hit them, but it's going to be even more awesome. Ooh, Olympic swimmer. It's going to be even more awesome when they fly across the room and their head explodes. Like, <laughs> I don't know why seeing zombies' heads explode is so awesome, but it really, really is. If you've never seen a zombie's head explode, you need to get this skill and do it. Just do it. Okay, so we're really close now. I, I have to loot the bird's nest. I just have to. What is going on over there? It's like a little party. Let's go, um, I don't know where my marker is. They like got like a party going on over here. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, batter up and a miss. What is all the hubbub going on? Oh, yeah, that one was more like a chest or a stomach. Um, blow. It wasn't a head blow. Oh! Ah, son of a biscuit eater. I'm just off. I'm off today. There's so many of them. It's the pressure. The pressure is getting to me. Oh! Sucks to be you, pal. They got me sick, man. And they touched me. 
Ah, oh, this is horrible. Oh, hit her so hard I knocked the crap out of her. The loot, knocked the loot right out of her. Oh, yeah, let's run over here. Nothing to see here, you guys. Oh, we don't even know what we got. Tuna, miso, shorts, a shotgun, and some shotgun shells. That's good, because I just used one of my shells to kill a wolf. Oh! I hear, I hear you, guy. Uh, don't worry, I won't forget about you. He did not die. Let's come over here and get this guy. Okay. Let's see. It was fun to watch you fly, Chumpa. Let's see. Can we do it again? Yeah. Okay. Where is our marker? Um, it's over here. Oh, it was, is it going to be this house? They were throwing a party at the house because they couldn't wait. Nope. It might be, might be this one. Wow, we were pretty far away when it... Dude, where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, I see it. Christmas urch! Okay, here we go. Um... Retrieve the supplies. We're going to have to go into sneaky, sneaky mode. Um, let's see. I don't know if I have shorts or not, but let's go ahead. Looks like we're a tiny bit down. Let's go ahead and eat some miso soup. And maybe drink. Clear up the spot. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, what? It would be really nice to get all this stuff again, but we only have so much time. We only have so much time. <laughs> We're doing the top-down approach. Oh, this is like horrible. I see a leg sitting out there. Oh, this would have been awesome to loot twice. All of that um, stuff. Oh, he's not going to die. He wouldn't have died anyway because he's a chumpawumpa. And he has more hit points. Oh, my God. Oh man, he's tough. Seriously. No! Why are you not dying? Holy schmolies. We're gonna need a little, um, a little bit of healing. Go ahead and eat up a little. It won't put us over. It'll give us 18 more health. Oh, I really don't like the top, uh, the tight quarters when fighting zombies. We'll um, we'll loot everything. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. Uh. You can see that they had to put those boards out to allow the zombies to spawn so they could stand up. So that, that kind of helps see where they're at. And it looks like we're supposed to go down here. Whew, we're probably going to make a noise here. Uh-huh.
Don't wake everybody up. <laughs> Gonna get him right in the foot. Oh, dude, I didn't hit him. You just destroyed my mood. You are bad zombies. Oh, that was horrible. He destroyed my loot. There's a big hole in the wall there. Let's just go through it and we'll loot everything after because I don't want to be... Oh, dude, I can't get through there. Seriously? Okay, I'm going to loot this. Oh, look, I think here's our supplies right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we, we've won the mission. Hello. <laughs> we've won the mission, so the... Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Okay, let's just go down. And see what we can see. Nobody's in here. Is that it? That looks like it. Awesome. Oh, wait. What about this? Oh, there are three. Holy. How many can you fit in a closet? fell over dead while he was walking. That is weird. I think that is it though. Awesome. Okay, let's loot, loot our way out with a working stiff tools crate. Is there anything on top? I didn't see it. Awesome. Let's check our food level. Can we eat again without wasting too much? Nah. I like to be about 110 or something so we don't waste that oh we got that <laughs> let's eat the can of tuna that'll give us a little bit more and a wrench and some mechanical parts oh yeah level two wrench. I think the wrenches we've gotten so far have only been like the tier one. Uh, ooh, ammo. Sweet. Uh, steel arrows. I'm going to try to keep those if I can. Bookcase. Oh, such a letdown. And there is a secret compartment here. Let's see what's in that. So this was totally awesome this scrapping stuff um you know what uh do we get can we smash this or take it apart can we get metal because uh, i need more metal i wanted to make an upgraded uh iron reinforced club but i'm just not getting a lot of metal for some reason what we get <laughs> seriously um that was not a whole lot what about this we're getting stuff uh those electrical parts those are pretty rare i guess unless you loot the tvs so 
I wonder... No, that didn't look right. Let's just smash it with this. Nothing! Ouch! Okay. Um, so I wonder, can are we supposed to take it apart with this? We're getting metal at least with it. What do we get at the end? Well, we at least get something with uh, the wrench. Maybe we'll try like our normal hammer next time. Normally, the pictures on the outside walls don't have anything behind it because it's on an outside wall. But the ones on the inside walls, yeah, there we go. Oh, empty, seriously. Oh, look at that. I almost missed the secret compartment. That is awesome. Oh, jumper. <laughs> Oh, we can scrap that office chair too. We got a couple of cupboards here. Oh, that's okay. The empty cans are metal as well. We'll keep the chili. It looks like we got that cleared. Now, where does this door go? Let's see. The hammer smash. While we're smashing, I'm sipping my coffee. Ugh. The door to nowhere. Alright, I wanna I wanna smash this with my stone pickaxe. Cause I think sometimes when you break things with the hammer, the big two-handed hammer, you don't get materials because I mean, it just smashed it to bits. So we are getting stuff. It looks like we got the same kind of stuff that we got when we used the wrench on it. Oh, yes. So um, I would prefer to just use the tool that I can repair because the wrench takes steel to repair. So we need to really think about what we want to use that on until we can make our own wrench. We need to be a little bit more selected. Ooh, a die! Yes! Okay, so I think what I want is to put it in there because that in gives us um, goes from 29 you can see it right here, 29 to 33 so that gives us four more damage yes that is awesome uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some more headshots uh, so <laughs> they won't be able to hit us okay so we got the kitchen the kitchen oh the trash can we can't forget the trash can that's the future the future is in the trash. All right. Ooh, more trash. This was a good little POI. I like it. Um, a lot of the POIs I'm intimidated by just for the sheer amount of time it's going to take to do them. It's not that... Um, oh. They know me so well. <laughs> they give me a bandage and a painkiller, which I'm going to go ahead and use that because we're down quite a bit. And let's uh, top off with that. So we get our full 100 and we'll go ahead and use our water because that's going to drain our water down. Oh, that was amazing. Now give me some fresh, clean toilet water. <laughs> awesome and like I said I know that you can loot these twice but uh, I only have so much time in a day <laughs> so uh, yeah let's go ahead and get a little bit of metal 
What I think I will do, since we did get the wrench looted, is we'll turn around and we'll tear this bed down behind us because uh, the bed will have springs. Let's repair this up. And we could definitely use the springs in the future when, when we get to where we need a cement mixer. And uh, they have added more recipes. Uh, let's go ahead and turn all of this into cloth. And that'll stack up. Sweet. That is awesome. Oh, let's go ahead and take this. We already have the stuff on us. We might as well. Awesome. I love it that we came in through the roof on this one. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, let's check the... Aha! Good thing we checked behind uh, Pocahontas. Iron leg armor. <laughs> oh, now we got uh, some cement. I'll have you know, last time digging out all that cement and stuff got us some good, uh, got us a good amount of the cobblestone rocks. That was like 500. So that's, I, I upgraded all of our, our pillars in the base so it was not wasted. Uh, that was uh, good, good loot. We got some. Oh, and look, if we hadn't come back for this, we would have missed out on that bag right there. There we go. Oh, um, let's go ahead and just scrap this and let's see what it scraps as. Electrical parts, and we already have those, so that's going to stack. We have a couple of more flashlights at home, so if we need room, we can scrap this other one, too. Oh, yeah. God, I like the cobblestone rocks. You get quite a bit. You get like 30 for each one of those bags, so... It all adds up. Um, did we make a level... We did, we did, we did, we did. So, oh, we need a second point to get the end that we need. Okay, you're good. Is there anything hidden back here? No. Anything over here? We're going to take this. We're going to get as much of as we can out of this place. Uh, then we're going to go talk to the trader. Oh, there's the thirst thing again. We took that pain pill. Let's go ahead and drink another one. What's our hunger at now? Food? Because we got a couple of can't. We could eat this tuna and free up a spot. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we got one spot open. I got my one spot. That's all I need. Don't need anything else. Just that one spot. And look at the experience. The experience for this 134. That's a uh, that's pretty good. And a desk. Ooh, a football helmet. See, there's a reason. There's a reason that tuna got a Um, okay, there's nothing back there. Good, good, good. I don't want to miss anything. I'm greedy. I like getting things. <laughs> I like this stuff and things. We're going to, like, take a look around the outside of this house, too. Just to make sure we don't miss anything on the outside. Oh, there's three. Three parts. Nice. I wonder if there's anything hidden back here. No. Okay, it looks like that is it. Um, I want to get 
the, the <coughs> little bit that's on the outside up here too. Heck yeah. And it looks like there might be something buried right there. What the heck? I love it that it makes a whooshing sound as you swing it up. Ooh, a moon, 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 moon <laughs> munitions box, munitions. Oh, speaking is hard sometimes. Three rocket launchers. I guess, um, bye-bye broken glass. Heck yeah. Oh, I can barely move. <laughs> And I need the bird's nest. Holy cow. Awesome. Alright, let's just take a look around. I think this shed in the back is part of like another POI because it's on a different level. Okay, looks like um, I'm not seeing anything. Okie dokie. Now we can go back to the trader. It's going to take me a while to get back over there. Yep, I already looted that. Didn't loot this one though. Um, let's go down to the road. Be a, maybe a little bit less distractions in between here and there. Let's see, does this road, this road goes almost, besides this one little bit, it goes almost directly to the trader. So let's, let's go down this road. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know I'm full. I still need to search the trash. <laughs> I need to... Plus, we get to look at um, some cool POIs. See what we want to do next time. I think this little area was un uncovered on the map. Or at least a little area. Oh no, it's coming up. Here's the gears. Uh, that's a pretty cool little POI to loot. Oh, here is one instance of road jankiness. Like, why even have this come up here? Why not just cut it off and go straight? I guess it was because of this little heel right here. But, I mean, just cut the heel down. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with it except for this... This angle is just too steep. Like if you're on a bicycle or a moped or you know motorcycle or whatever, that's that's really steep to go up. But for for the most part, the roads look a lot better. They do. They look a lot better. And the terrain gen. I haven't seen a floating house at all. So that's awesome. Hey, Mr. Chin! How's it going? It's been a long time since we saw you. <coughs> Let me show you. Oh! He didn't go flying! Oh my god! What's going on? He just shrugged it off. He's got a chin of iron. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> he just took my hammer blow. Like, hey, it wasn't a thing, man. You ain't got no hammer. <laughs> like, you ain't got no rat. Ha. <laughs> just shrugged that off. Man, Mr. Chin, respect. <laughs> 
That is wow. I guess I had that one coming. Oh, where am I going to put the duct tape? Um, let's get rid of the paint. I mean, it might be fun to use later on, but right now I don't, I don't have the space. And, uh, it's worth nothing at the Mer the trader, so it doesn't have a lot of value other than to make things look pretty. And while I'm all for making things look pretty, uh, you gotta prioritize. <laughs> Style or substance? It's the age-old question. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, me? Uh, I'm a substance girl. Definitely. I like things to be pretty on the inside. And, and it's hard to be pretty on the inside if everything is only pretty on the outside. Well, I guess it's not really hard. It's just, you know, if you're more focused on keeping things pretty on the outside, you forget about the inside. So... And I guess vice versa. I guess that goes both ways. You know, if you're only focused on substance, then... Oh, there we go. Mr. Chin, you shall not touch me again. Oh, except for now. <laughs> when we're not paying attention to our stamina and... Um, we may want to stop at the base. Oh, that's empty. Which way is the base? The base is over there. Because we're full, and if he gives us a reward, um, we're not going to be able to take it because we're completely freaking full. So let's go, let's go drop our stuff and things off. And, wow, it's almost 15 o'clock. Wow, where does the time go? So we'll have time to go over, drop our stuff off, and head back over to the trader, turn in our quest, and see if maybe he's got another one for us. That would be amazing. really be awesome if he could get us another one that was close by to one of these two towns. I mean, there's no reason why Trader Bob can't give us something that is a kilometer or less away. Because there are just, there are two towns. I don't see why he wants to go five and six kilometers away. So there we go. Uh, we got a chili, some of that, some of that, uh, some of that, some of that, uh, some of that. I believe that's all. Let me throw these in there. We do actually have this we can sell. Ooh, mechanical parts. We didn't have that. Ooh, yes. And we can, we're going to put this wrench over here, that in there, and electrical parts, oh yeah. I like getting my stuff filled in, and the springs, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we used the last of our duct tape to make the forge. There we go. Everything's going in where it's supposed to go. Uh, there. Let me put you there and you there. Oh, the shotgun. Shotgun. We also got another helmet. Oh boy. Okay, so we did have shorts, but we didn't have the tank top. This is really not worth anything, so let's just scrap it up. Um, I think we might just melt these down. These iron leg armor. 
because it's only worth 16 to sell and I don't I don't want to wear the heavy armor maybe later once we get you know points to put in it and look at that all our stuff melted we have we have the metals so now we can start making a transition from our stone arrows to the iron arrows hurrah because we have the anvil we could do that if we didn't have the anvil you have to spend the thousand to get it let's look at that where is it the anvil a thousands thousands that's 200 and is it though no, it's 200 of the iron ore so that's quite a bit so we want to make uh some of these awesome we're probably going to just start out with a hundred There we go, yeah. And then we'll make some forged iron. Let's make like 10 and that'll be to like repair our tools and such. All right, so steel arrows we've got. Got a little bit of concrete. Awesome. Oh, and that, so. We need to do something with this flashlight. Honestly, I'm probably going to scrap it because it's only worth seven. Okay, and we get like three. Is it three of the electrical parts? And look at that. Each electrical part is worth nine. So that triples the value. More than triples. Okay. Okay. So let's go talk to Trader while that's melting down and we'll talk to Mr. Chin on our way. Hello there, Mr. Chin. It's a fine winter's day. We're gonna have some fun with our hammer in your face. Oh! Oh! Mr. Chin, why do you dodge my hammer so? <laughs> dodge that. See, that's what happens when you start talking smack to these zombies. They like they don't like it and they're like, hey man, I don't appreciate you talking smack, especially to my face, so would you please stop? <laughs> no. Like if you can't talk smack to the zombies, I mean what is life even worth living? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. The zombies deserve respect. I mean, did you see that blow Mr. Chen took? He took that blow and he just shrugged it off like... Yeah. God, a customer. Yeah, Bob. We can talk about the, uh, the distance. Great job, <sighs> Look. I know we got a steel pick... Oh, that's a steel pickaxe! Hooray, hooray! Well, I'll be dang. You really managed to pull through on a pinch. Thanks for retrieving those spawns here. What I owe you. Why do we get a 500 bonus? I don't understand. But I'm definitely taking that steel pickaxe. Holy cow. But now we need steel. <laughs> do you have any more jobs? Dude. Yeah, let's just wait till... T let's go ahead and take these and get rid of them so that he'll get us new I've ones tomorrow. God bless you and good luck. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, and we got a second level. We got the two points we needed. That is awesome. It's rare to find honor in these dark times. Yes, I know, Bob. You are so deep. All right. Now, he has no jobs. 
Oh, we got 664 Dukes Casino. Oh, that was experience. I see. We got 500 extra experience because of our goggles. That is awesome. Oh, dude. I should have brought... I should have brought my stuff. This is a secret stash. Let's go ahead and buy a steel. A steel. They're expensive, a hundred. Um, just so we can have one repair for our steel pickaxe. <laughs> um, because I would like I would like to get the wood splitter or let's see what other mods he has. Cooling mesh. Yeah, I would definitely like the wood splitter. Even if I just put it in my stone axe, which is all I have right now, it would still make it better to chop through the wood. So, and he has two of them, so let's sometime. go see if we can get that real quick. <laughs> oh, look, and I made it through the door. Awesome. I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> Maybe it was because I was encumbered or something. Maybe when you get encumbered, it makes your hitbox larger. <laughs> be just freaking hilarious oh you can't go through the door until you drop something ha 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 oh i can't i can't get that one i want it that's mean that's just mean i even put the rock there you know i'm gonna pick it up all right let's go try to get that he's i think he's got two i think he's got one in his normal um, loot and then one in his uh, secret stash so that would be awesome if we had a lot of money but I think if we could afford one that would help <laughs> cut down on the amount of time I need to gather the wood so I'm going to do a lot of gathering okay oh I don't have a lot I don't have a lot. Bummer. So, and it's 790, but I do have this, so I will have I will have enough to get one. So, let's at least get the one. So, at least get the one wood splitter. <laughs> Oh yeah, this will make, uh, make, make me a little bit more efficient through the night. I should be able to gather <clears throat> that much more wood. Ah! Oh, it's thwarting my plans for world domination by not letting me chop down that bush. Alright, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Awesome, oh, Bob. Bob, listen. come on, talk to me, Bob. Will you sell me this? And then I want to buy your wood splitter. Yes, yes, Bob. See, he does have a second one. Oh, that is awesome. Get new merchandise. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get back. We're gonna get back to the base. Um, install this. We're probably gonna make a new axe because I think if we make one now, it should be tier four because of the goggles. Uh, so that'll be a little bit better. I would really like to get, uh, hopefully tomorrow he'll have some more missions for us close by. Look, our trees. Oh, Mr. Chin, leave my poor trees alone. Let them grow. Let them grow, Mr. Chin, please. I'm begging you. Oh, no. I wasn't, th I wasn't thinking straight. I shouldn't have asked you. Uh, I should have asked with a little bit more respect. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Chen. I won't let that happen again. <laughs> okay. Um. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, it just ate that last bit of wood. So sweet, we have iron. We got a steel pickaxe. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, I'm gonna put it right there so I can see it. We're gonna make a new stone axe. Let's see if it's tier four. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then we can put this modifier in there to chop wood better then there we go and we might as well make a new shovel i haven't been using the iron one because i didn't have a lot of iron but actually um we could probably go ahead and start using our iron one the iron shovel now that we have a forge we have access to all the iron in the world, so yeah. <laughs> we did manage to get a couple hundred more cobblestone rocks, which is good. Um, it will help. Every little bit will help. And it's 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 almost time to call the video. Let's do one more thing before we go. Um, we need to spend those two skill points. We just leveled up. We got a skill point. We're gonna go ahead and buy it. Now, um, tier six is also two points, but we don't need that for a while. So we can go ahead and, uh, ooh, we could put a point into physician, but that's not gonna do us a lot of good unless we actually have the aloe to make the first aid bandages. And we don't. We don't have uh, the aloe, so that will come in handy once we get into farming. And uh, we need a hoe to farm with. So, what I'm pro okay, how many points we need? We're looking at one point at level 20 to get uh, the iron tools and leather armor and one point at level 25 so that's two points in between now and then that is going to go there would be also would like to get a bicycle but we don't have the acid to make the wheels so i'm not particularly in a hurry to do that if we get the acid i would definitely like to do that because that will make getting around a little bit easier so what level are we now? 15! Awesome! We're going to be cruising in. I don't know if we'll make 20 before the horde. It would be nice if we did, but I don't know that's going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and bind up real quick. So... Let's use that one iron we have over here to go ahead and repair up this shovel. Because it looks sad. <laughs> I hate it that it's a tier one shovel, but in five levels. So, four of those points. Well, let's spend, let's say, let's be hopeful and say that we're going to get one more jar of acid so that we can make a bike. So we'll spend that one extra point on getting the bike. And then we have three points that we can spend in other things, which I would definitely like to do across the board here. One, two, three. Get all of those to where, because we can, oh, we can't do that one till level three. So one, two, and then three. Get these. To where we're gathering more another point of strength and then we'll be able to put another level into all of these because this one 
they lowered the requirements for sexual tyrannosaurus uh, so you only have to have strength seven to get the last one and here you only have to have strength seven so that's good because strength seven is three points so once you get to seven it goes up to three and then four for nine five for ten I, I really, really want to play this game. It's so awesome. I love how they they have the perk system now. It's 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 really awesome. It gives you focus where you can plan things out and and whatnot. <laughs> uh, build the kind of character that you want. So I I really like. I would like to have everything. But what do you do first? You know. What do you do first? I would definitely like to go further into this and especially down to Shotgun Messiah as well. But I'll probably hold off on that until we get to at least Strength 5 because Strength 5 will get us pretty far. It'll get us to Tier 4 of Sexual Tyrannosaurus, Pack Mule, Minor 69er and and mother load gets us tier four and and I don't think it's gonna cost that many points to get us to to that point and I think that will give us a really solid foundation to build off from there so that's where <laughs> that's where I want to focus is right here in the strength uh, to to get those the stamina regen extra storage uh more harvest and then i want to go into the perception line and and start working up from there so that's the plan <laughs> anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye